Marty. <laughs> Mr. Where are you? Good, very good. Uh, just got off the course. Yeah. Uh, actually playing with club captain Chris Bouchard. I tell you, what a great guy that guy. Super is. nice he, guy. He's a really nice guy. Yeah. Um, he, uh, uh, him, and I were, were commenting on what great shape the course is in. So like, uh, I, I, and, and that leads us to the memo that I just saw the note that I just saw. Where you're going to be aerating it? Tomorrow. Yes, we're going to be starting aeration tomorrow. Uh, it's unfortunately, it's something that everyone doesn't like, nor do I. I mean, the golf course is in really good shape. Um, but when you go and aerate, the time to aerate is when your greens are the healthiest. That means the recuperation is that much quicker. Oh, okay. um, there's a lot of benefits to the aeration. That actually helps us maintain the longevity of the greens so that going into the late part of September with the amount of play that we get, the greens can tolerate it. They're stronger, healthier, deeper root structure. They're, they'll drain better, especially when you get into the September rains, even though we've had a fair bit of rain this year. <laughs> you can far cry from last year. But, yeah, this is what, um, you know, we're going to go show a little video. And, okay. uh, you know, thanks to the USGA, uh, I actually wanted to do some videos, but with the rain that we had this week, we couldn't do our own. So I'm, I'm borrowing a bit of video from them so that people have a perspective of what I'm talking about, what we're doing and accomplishing. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, great. Show us the video. All right. Here's here's a, a picture, of, obviously from the video. This is a, a green that's been aerated. These are the type of pieces of equipment that they use to aerate. Uh, right now, what they're doing is coring. That's probably a half inch tine. Um, and you can see the, the soil thatch, the dead grass, there's a, a variety of things that are coming out of, of the green that, um, you know, are, it's going to help make this green healthier. Now, I've seen where you've done big holes, little holes, I'll call them, mm -hmm. uh, and even scissor cuts. What would be the, the difference between them? Well, it just depends on the, the time of year and what you're looking to accomplish. I mean, we could be in really wet condition, and I get to a point where my window of opportunity is very limited. So pulling a core only turns it to mud. Okay. So that's when I go out and I'll solid time. So I'm not pulling anything out. I'm just creating a hole, and I'm trying to get some sand into it. Sometimes I'm going with a very thin pencil, pencil-like time, yeah. uh, which just helps alleviate the compaction and oxygenates the soil, but I haven't put sand into it, nor have I removed some of the organic material. So it's really timing. And this, you know, this is ultimately what we want to accomplish at least twice a year, is coring and filling with sand, so we're removing. I've done some other processes where we've actually top dressed first, cored, and actually blended the existing greens mix with the fresh sand and, and incorporating into some of our greens. Uh, again, it's just weather, timing. Uh, this year, what we're doing is instead of half inch across the board, we're going alternated times, half inch and three eighths. So it's a smaller time and a bigger time, uh, alternating. I'm just a little concerned with the forecast of August being as hot and, and stressful on the plant. I know we're healthy and I'm maybe being a little cautious, but I want to make sure that come club championship, our greens are spectacular. No, that's great. Yeah. Now, will that soften up the greens, all those sorts of things? We will be a bit soft to start with because obviously we've relieved some compaction. Um, but with the irrigation, the overseeding, the fertility that I'm doing, the green becomes healthier, thicker. We're going to get a, a denser plant um, uh, canopy, and then the greens will firm up. And as you know, we're going to be rolling regularly and stuff, but you'll notice the speed pick up. Plus, the greens will dry out quicker. You know, if we get a heavier rain, okay. they'll dry out faster because. You know, that gas exchange that's taking place in the sand that we've provided the, the water to move through. So, you know, we just missed that one. Last one was just a spiker. And we actually go out and spike the greens once in a while. Most people don't even know we do it. Yeah. I try and get out there just before rain. It pokes little holes in the greens and helps draw water into the green and help alleviate a little bit of surface tension. And, uh, you know, it just makes the greens healthier. Now, does everybody does everybody uh, uh, area like it, a like, lot of golf courses do? And you know, the thing is, you know, so let's say public golf. In the public golf side of things, um, there's a real key on revenue, so you don't want to be out there aerating okay. a lot, right? So guys are kind of stuck with only being allowed to uh, aerate once a year, um, and it's usually in the fall, um, which really helps encourage poa versus bent. You know, but there are some clubs that do follow regular protocol. The, the regular root aeration routine most guys uh, operate with is three times a year. Uh, I go really early in the spring because we use covers. So I've already simulated and got growth going where guys um, that maybe don't do covers or they just at their practice, they come late May. They'll go and start aerating in late May. Um, and then they're going to do it again in August. And then they'll do it again maybe late, late September, October. But that's more of um, a shattering, you know, they go in with a verta drain and they're driving a really deep time shattering the soil, um, you know, getting it ready for winter. 
That's great. Mm -hmm. So Marty, that was great. Um, how long does it take to restore? Like, wh when's things going to be back to normal? We should be, you're going to see a big improvement within a week. Okay. It's going to be rough for the first few days, but uh, within a week, you're going to see a nice improvement. Within two weeks, you shouldn't even know that we are in it. That's so great. They should heal over that quick. That's great. Yeah. Um, folks, I just want to say thanks for the emails that we did receive last week. We got two types of questions. One type was longer term sorts of questions. What are you doing with the traps? When is that going to happen? Bring those on. We really do uh, want to make sure that we answer those. The other ones, and this was the other reason for uh, the email address, was to tell us about things that are happening right away. So, for an example, someone has told us about uh, the weeds on number six, for yeah. an example. Yeah, there's some weeds, maybe a ball washer post that we're not using anymore. Right. And, you know, I apologize. Uh, you know, here's the thing somehow there was a glitch in the email address set up and we weren't getting the emails and we found out about a few days late. So we responded as soon as we knew that they came in and, and I was able to quickly react to uh, several of those items. And, you know, I'm always looking for little jobs for my staff to do. And you know what, like Dennis said, there's things out there I can't see every day. I wish I could. And, you know, maybe it don't, you know, it sheds a little light on, on more attention I need to put on certain things, but uh, we got it done right away. And I uh, appreciate the feedback. So thanks very much, Marty. Yep. Thanks very much Thank as you. well. Appreciate it. Take care. Okay. So if you get a chance to catch the captain's corner, uh, you might have picked up on a couple of things, especially talking about Mr. Cote and myself. So, you know, how's this for production value? You know, this is something I enjoy listening to over and over and over and over. So, oh, hey, listen, the 25th. You know what, guys? If we book a tea time for Chris Bouchard on the 25th, he'll be the clubhouse leader for a day. Take care, guys. <laughs>